Have you ever pondered over the enormity of the universe and the mysteries it holds? The cosmos, in all its vastness, teems with a myriad of celestial bodies and phenomena. Dotted with countless stars, galaxies, nebulas and black holes, the universe is a grand tapestry of cosmic beauty and mystery. Each night as we gaze at the star-studded sky, we are looking at a fraction of this infinite expanse, a tiny glimpse into the universe's unfathomable depths. Yet, despite its enormity, the universe is not entirely unknown to us. Through the power of science and technology, we've managed to unravel some of its many secrets. One such secret lies in our very own cosmic backyard, just over four light years away from our home planet. It's a star that, despite its relative proximity, remained hidden from our sight until just over a century ago. This star, my dear listeners, is Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri, a fitting name for our closest stellar neighbor. A star that, despite its proximity, doesn't shine brightly in our sky. Instead, it's a faint red dwarf, a celestial underdog that has nonetheless captured the attention of astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. Yet what makes Proxima Centauri truly fascinating isn't its modest appearance, but the potential it holds. Around this unassuming star orbits at least two planets, one of which, Proxima Centauri b, lies within the star's habitable zone. This zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, is the region around a star where conditions might just be right for life as we know it. Could it be that our nearest stellar neighbor hosts life? That question, among others, is what drives our exploration of Proxima Centauri. So with that introduction, I invite you to join me on a cosmic journey. A journey that will take us beyond our own solar system to a star that's closer to us than any other. Let's journey together into the depths of the cosmos, to our nearest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri. Our story begins in the year 1915 with the discovery of a faint star. In that year, a Scottish astronomer by the name of Robert Innes was looking through his telescope from the Union Observatory in Johannesburg, South Africa. He noticed a dim star that didn't quite fit the celestial pattern of the night sky. This faint glimmer of light he would later name Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri, Latin for nearest of Centaurus, was indeed a fitting name. At a mere 4.24 light years away, it's the closest known star to our solar system. That's approximately 25 trillion miles or 40 trillion kilometers for those who prefer metric. To put it into perspective, if we could travel at the speed of light, it would still take us over four years to reach Proxima Centauri. But distance isn't the only thing that makes Proxima Centauri intriguing. This star is a red dwarf, a type of star that is relatively small and cool compared to others in the universe. Despite being our nearest stellar neighbor, it's far too faint to be seen with the naked eye from Earth. Its characteristics intrigued scientists from the very beginning. Its size, its temperature, its luminosity, all these aspects made Proxima Centauri a fascinating object of study. Robert Innes may have discovered Proxima Centauri, but he merely opened the door to a world of questions and exploration. In the grand scheme of things, Proxima Centauri is a young star. It's only about one third the age of our own sun, which means it has a long, long future ahead of it. This makes it an exciting prospect for future space exploration and study. And so, our nearest stellar neighbor was discovered waiting to reveal its secrets. Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star, is not just our closest neighbor, but also an intriguing one. Now, what exactly is a red dwarf star, you might wonder? Well, these are the most common type of stars in the Milky Way, comprising about three quarters of all the stars in our galaxy. Their size is relatively small, about one-tenth to half the mass of our sun. Proxima Centauri, in particular, is a petite star with only about an eighth of the sun's mass. But don't let its size fool you. What it lacks in size, it makes up for in longevity. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri have incredibly long lifespans, estimated to be up to trillions of years. That's right, trillions with a T. This is because they burn their fuel, hydrogen, very slowly and efficiently. Unlike larger stars that burn through their fuel at a much faster rate, now let's talk about temperature. Proxima Centauri is a cool star, and by cool, I mean literally cool. At least when compared to other stars. Its surface temperature is about 3,000 degrees Celsius, which is almost 2,000 degrees cooler than our sun. This is why it appears red, as cooler stars tend to emit light more towards the red end of the spectrum. 
But here's the thing about Proxima Centauri. It's a flare star. This means it can increase its brightness dramatically in a matter of minutes due to magnetic activity on its surface. These flares can be a hundred times more powerful than those from our sun, making this seemingly calm star a rather volatile neighbor. Despite its small and cool nature, Proxima Centauri holds a fiery secret. In 2016, astronomers made a breathtaking discovery. Proxima Centauri wasn't alone. The red dwarf star, our closest stellar neighbor, was found to be the sun for not one but two planets, Proxima b and Proxima c. Let's first venture towards Proxima b, the innermost of the two. This planet is roughly 1.27 times the size of our Earth, a similarity that sparked immediate interest. It orbits its star at a distance of about 7 million kilometers. That's roughly only 5% of the distance between the Earth and our Sun. Despite this close proximity to its star, Proxima b's orbit lies within the habitable zone, or the Goldilocks zone, where conditions could be just right for liquid water to exist on the surface. Now, let's journey out a bit further to Proxima c. This planet is considerably larger, with an estimated size seven times that of Earth. Its orbit, too, is much more distant, lying at a staggering one and a half billion kilometers from its star. This places Proxima c outside the conventional habitable zone. However, recent models have suggested that under the right conditions, this distant world might still be able to support liquid water. The potential for life on these two planets has captured the imaginations of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. But before we get ahead of ourselves, it's important to remember that these are still alien worlds with conditions vastly different from our own. The intense radiation from Proxima Centauri, for instance, could prove hostile to life as we know it. Despite these challenges, the discovery of Proxima b and Proxima c has opened up a whole new avenue of exploration. Their presence in our cosmic backyard offers a tantalizing glimpse into the universe beyond our solar system. These alien worlds, so close yet so far, present a tantalizing opportunity for exploration. The question of life beyond Earth has always intrigued us. Could Proxima Centauri hold the answer? Proxima Centauri, our nearest stellar neighbor, is home to not one, but two exoplanets, Proxima b and Proxima c. These celestial bodies, though not within our reach, offer tantalizing possibilities in our quest to find extraterrestrial life. Let's start with Proxima b. It's roughly Earth-sized and orbits in its star's habitable zone. That's the region around a star where conditions could be just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface, and where there's water, there might be life. However, being in the habitable zone doesn't necessarily mean Proxima b is habitable. It's tidally locked to its star. This means one side constantly faces the star, baking in perpetual daylight, while the other side is in eternal darkness. This could create extreme temperature differences and intense stellar winds, making it a harsh environment for life as we know it. Now, let's turn our attention to Proxima c. It's a super-Earth, about seven times the size of our planet. But it's much further from its star, meaning it likely has a frigid surface. Yet we can't rule out the existence of life. After all, life on Earth thrives in extreme conditions, from the icy Antarctic to the scorching Sahara. So could there be life on Proxima b or Proxima c? It's a tantalizing question. Many challenges remain, from the extreme conditions on these planets to the vast distance that separates us. But with every challenge comes the possibility of discovery. As we develop technology capable of probing these distant worlds, we could uncover signs of life from simple microbes to something more complex. Or we could discover that life as we know it is a unique phenomenon only found on our blue planet. The search for life continues with Proxima Centauri as one of our top contenders. Our eyes are set on the stars, our minds filled with curiosity, and our hearts brimming with hope. As we venture deeper into the cosmos, we carry with us the eternal question, are we alone? As we gaze into the cosmos, our eyes set upon Proxima Centauri and we dream of the future. A future where we might not just observe this celestial neighbor from afar, but venture to it, touch its soil, and unravel its mysteries. One such ambitious endeavor is the Breakthrough Starshot Initiative. Launched in 2016, this project is working on developing a fleet of light-propelled nanocrafts. 
These spacecraft, each no larger than a postage stamp, will be propelled by a ground-based light beamer. The aim? To reach Proxima Centauri in just over two decades rather than the tens of thousands of years it would take us with current technology. But the journey to Proxima Centauri is fraught with challenges. The first hurdle is creating a propulsion system capable of accelerating these nanocrafts to 20% the speed of light. That's 60,000 kilometers per second. The second challenge is ensuring these tiny crafts survive the harsh conditions of interstellar space from high energy particles to dust grains that could potentially obliterate them. And yet, the potential discoveries are tantalizing. Imagine for a moment what we might find. Proxima Centauri b, a planet within the habitable zone of its star, could hold the secrets to life beyond our solar system, or perhaps we'll discover new celestial phenomena unseen from our earthly vantage point. The future of exploration is not without its risks, but it is these very risks that make the endeavor worthwhile. It is in our nature to explore, to push boundaries, to venture into the unknown. As we stand on the precipice of this new era, we must remember that it is through these bold ventures that we have come to understand our place in the universe. And so we look to Proxima Centauri, not just as a distant point of light, but as a destination, a new frontier, a challenge to be met and overcome. As we stand on the brink of interstellar exploration, Proxima Centauri beckons us. Proxima Centauri, a beacon in the cosmic ocean, holds a promise of discovery and exploration. Its allure has been a constant since its discovery in the early 20th century. A celestial body, so close yet so far, it has been the subject of countless studies and speculations. A red dwarf star, dim and cool, yet the closest to us, it is a paradox that continues to intrigue and inspire. The star is not alone in its cosmic journey. Orbiting it, we find a duo of planets, Proxima b and Proxima c, each holding their own mysteries. Proxima b, particularly, has been a subject of much fascination. Its location within the habitable zone of its star, where conditions might be just right for life as we know it, paints a tantalizing picture for the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Yet Proxima Centauri is not just a symbol of scientific curiosity, it represents the future of space exploration. Its relative proximity to Earth, a mere 4.2 light years away, makes it a prime candidate for future interstellar missions. The exploration of Proxima Centauri and its planets could provide invaluable insights into the formation and evolution of other solar systems, including our own. But the promise of Proxima Centauri is not just confined to the scientific realm, it is a testament to human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. It is a beacon that draws us out of our earthly confines and into the vast expanse of the cosmos. It is a reminder that the universe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered, and we are just at the beginning of our cosmic journey. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe, we are reminded of the words of Carl Sagan. Somewhere something incredible is waiting to be known.